What's up guys, JB2017 here, and I am bringing you some Calls of Duty. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. You're seeing this. Uh, I decided I would record and post some because I don't want to post just two things at once on my channel while I'm doing like a lot of Let's Plays. Like I don't, I'd rather have three Let's Plays or two Let's Plays in Call of Duty like I'm doing right now going at once. I'd rather have three things going at once than just one. Or, sorry, then just two Let's Plays, because that gives me a little more variety in the uploads, and, you know, a little more variety for you guys as well, I think is uh, pretty cool. So, anyways, this is the new Revolution DLC, and I decided, yeah, I'd, I'd record some of this until I get something new to record, and that's like a few days away. It's actually, let's see, it's Tuesday. It's actually a week away, so... You will see Call of Duty on my channel for one week, and I, then I don't plan on posting it anymore um, because of how many games are coming out. But we'll see. Everything's kind of a, uh, a we'll see at this point because I'm just getting into this really hardcore uh, Let's Play stuff and actually following a, a schedule and actually following through with my uh, Let's Plays and whatnot. So, yeah, guys, uh, I actually go, what, what would you call that, uh, flawless until... I think the second round? No, maybe it's the end of the first round. I go flawless. I get 18 kills until I die. So this was actually, and I'm not lying, my very, very, very first game back to Call of Duty. So I was super surprised about how well I did. And I'm using the new weapon on the new map. So this new map is Downfall. It's the only snow map. And to be honest, I like, um, I like how snowy it is. I know that sounds stupid, but... I feel like the other snow maps in Call of Duty had too much snow, and the snow seems a little more tame in this uh, map. I don't know the best way I can describe that. Like, you're not trudging through the snow. It feels like the snow is packed on the ground and you're just running on the snow. You know, I don't know. It, it just feels different for me, but it feels good. It feels better than it was before. You know, it's not as like, oh crap, I'm on a snow map. More like, oh, this is a cool snow map. And this, this is actually one of the maps that I'm enjoying uh, the most on the Revolution DLC. Um, also, I'm using the new SMG, the Peacemaker. Or, sorry, the Ke Peacekeeper. I'm pretty sure in Jack 2, there's a weapon called the Peacemaker. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the case, and that's why I just did it. The Peacekeeper. So, the Peacekeeper SMG... The best description I can ha I can you know give you guys for this weapon, in my opinion, is it feels like a small MTAR. That's what it feels like. It's not overpowered. Actually, a lot of my friends that I've been playing with are like, this thing is underpowered. It's not very good. Blah, blah, blah. Complain, complain. Um, obviously, they wouldn't release a DLC weapon that's really good, but it, it's not bad. It's not... It's not too bad, it's not too good, it's it's really in the middle where it should be, kind of like the MTAR. I will say I do pretty well with the MTAR, I think my uh, the MTAR is my second highest KD weapon, after the S12 shotgun, which I I absolutely wreck with, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Me with a shotgun on kill confirmed, do pretty well for myself, but anyways, yeah, so first impressions for this DLC I guess is what I'm trying to talk about. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I didn't, I was like, no, I'm not doing this. But honestly, I don't know if I would have even purchased this DLC if I didn't have a gap in uploads. So I don't know what that says about, you know, that says a lot about my interest in Call of Duty at the moment. But I'm actually enjoying myself with the DLC. And I haven't gotten to uh, the zombies yet. And there's the new Die Rise uh, zombie map, which actually sounds like a horrible, poor pronunciation of Duriz, or Duriz. I think people called it Duriz as well, uh, from the original Black Ops. Or, sorry, Duriz is from, uh, World at War. But, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. So, I haven't played Die Rise yet, but I, I definitely, uh, look forward to that. Maybe I'll post a video or two on that. That would be pretty, pretty cool. Maybe I'll try it out tonight. That would be cool, but, um, yeah, I was actually playing with a friend, with, uh, my friend Birdo in here, and he was like, double tap, double tap, and I didn't double tap once, so if you're doing the same thing, if you're yelling at the screen, because I have engineering on, like, double tap, blah, 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 I just, I don't know, I haven't played the game in a while, I was like, oh, click X, I'll click this button, and didn't, you know, think about double tapping, 
But yeah, this map I enjoy. I also enjoy... What's the other one I enjoy? Not Grind. Grind is my least favorite uh, as, as of yet thus far. Let's see what else. Mirage. I haven't actually played on Mirage. And what's the other one? Hydro. Hydro. I haven't played on Hydro, but I watched, again, my friend play it. And it looks fun. Hydro looks fun, and I played this, obviously, and it is fun. So, those two maps I'm really enjoying. Haven't gotten a chance to get to Mirage yet. Okay, funny story. These little lift slash gondola things are hilarious. If you step in front of one of them, I don't have gameplay because I decided not to kill myself. But if you step in front of one of those little lifts and it hits you and it's coming towards you like it's com coming at you, it's going to kill you. And it doesn't matter how fast it's going, how fast you're going, it's just going to kill you. You're just going to get run over. And it's absolutely hilarious, to be honest. If you get wedged between the wall and the lift, it kills you automatically as well. It's kind of it's kind of really funny. Uh, you Like, you can run into the side of it, and you can run, you know, towards the back side of it, and it won't kill you, but if you get in the way of that mother trucker, it's going to... It's gonna kill you. <laughs> it's pretty great. Also on Hydro, there's a new like environment kind of thing, kind of similar to that. I mean, the the lifts aren't really a huge deal. Only if you go in that one room that I was in, you guys could tell what I'm talking about. Uh, in Hydro, you turn on the water and it completely floods a part of the map where there's already a little water. You kind of hear like a Pakistani guy because it's in Pakistan. The level Hydro is. He's like oh, la 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 la. Is you know to be completely absolutely political politically correct that's what he sounded like and uh basically the water comes down and kills absolutely anyone you can see me dodging like oh i don't want to run into that thing because that thing would have literally just just killed me wrecked me made me cry inside like a small child but anyways i get a pretty cool score for my first game back pretty uh, pretty good by my standards absolutely good by my standards because I have like a 1.22 KD, and not like I care about my KD, much more of an objective player, as some of you may know, but yeah, so. Yup, yup, yup. Uh, what I've heard from the DLC from other people, I guess they're they're enjoying it as well. Like, I think Treyarch does a lot better with the DLC maps. Like, you guys already know I'm totally... I. Just could not stand Modern Warfare 3, even though it was really good for my channel. I just could not stand the game itself. I played it too much, so I got really tired of it. Uh, Infinity Ward did not handle map packs very well. Like, I don't even... I can't even... Maybe I can name a map pack, like a map from the map packs in Modern Warfare 3, but it doesn't mean it was a good one. I just don't... I didn't like any of those DLC maps in Modern Warfare 3. I just thought they were all terrible. Uh, maybe I thought one or two maps on the original disc were good or something like that. But Treyarch seems to handle these DLC maps much better than, uh, than freaking Infinity Ward. Psh. I don't even know what Infinity Ward's gonna bring us next. Like, if it's Modern Warfare Floor, 4, <laughs> Modern Warfare Floor, Modern Warfare 4, I don't even know if I'm gonna touch the thing. Like, seriously. Because Modern Warfare 3 just, yeah, leaves a bad taste in your mouth. At least in my mouth. So, anyways, guys, this game's wrapping up to a close. I go 33 and 7. I don't play a ton of objective in this game, or I didn't play a lot, but um, not really characters to me. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed more Call of Duty very soon in other videos. Peace.